You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have our library director extraordinaire, Paul Engel. Hey, Paul. Mark, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. a lot this week. We had a wonderful event at the library. We had trainees orientation for library trustees with library trustees from all over the area, mm -hmm. including our entire full board yep. of nine. Yes. Boy, does that make me happy. We got <laughs> all new trustees was, and everybody's on board. One fifth of the attendance was, was Brockton trustees. Well, that's good. We had trustees <laughs> from other communities. Yeah. We had the state, the Mass Board of Library Commissioners puts on trustee orientations. And usually you got to go to Timbuktu to go mm -hmm. to. And we brought it home to that's Brockton. That's right. That's right. And they liked it because we had a lot of support from the library, the Library Foundation. Yeah. And we got fed. That's right. So good if food. you feed them, they will come. That's right. Right? Did a great orientation. And we were in the big room, which is usually filled with activities. There's mm -hmm. activities at the library. I went to a wonderful activity that people will get to see on cable soon, the Hispanic Heritage Day last Saturday. I was there for three hours for a couple of reasons. One, I enjoyed the program. Mm -hmm. Two, I really enjoyed the food. <laughs> so I was there for the whole three hours, and yeah. it was worth being there. I was actually late to another event I was covering because <laughs> I was so happy to be there. Inez Figueroa and Teresa Aiello, mm -hmm. and, and just the spirit in that room because the library is a cultural center, too. It is. And unfortunately, I couldn't make it down there. I was there. I was working that day, but I was just too busy. I couldn't get away. You were upstairs, and there was some another was program. A poetry poetry event. upstairs. Was, everyone has so a voice we got there. poetry. We got culture. We have history. And you're going to tell us all the stuff that's coming up. That's right. In the next month. We're at the, you know, close to the end of September. The month is... I know. Going, it, it, I mean, by. I saw something on Facebook the other day. How many days till Halloween? How many days till Thanksgiving? How many days till Christmas? <laughs> I don't want to rush it. When you get older, it goes by quicker. I would rather it slow down a little bit. So I mentioned Halloween. Halloween. Library's doing something unique. Yes, we have boxes set up around the city. Yeah, there's one couple in City Hall. There's some in the library where people can donate their old Halloween costumes. And if you donate... I think six costumes, you get a little uh, a, a shout out on the box, so you can the, the, your family name. Okay, can be because on the box. people don't want to go as the same thing every year. That's right. They want to they something new and different, and there are people that can't afford that's right. Halloween that's, that's costumes. That's exactly what we're doing. So we're doing I don't remember people. ever hearing anybody else do this before. So no, kudos to whoever yeah. came up with that. Yeah, Myra okay. on our staff. Oh, there you go. See, and, and we got talented staff. We do. Yeah. We know that. Yeah. So we're doing that. Um, the end of September. Um, the, the, the downtown Brockton, mm -hmm. we've tried to draw people to downtown Brockton. Downtown Brockton over the years has taken its hits. Bill Hogan, Bill Hogan. is a big downtown Brockton promoter. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has the downtown museum. Right. And we're having a boxing event at the library? Tell me. Tell we me. are. Uh, Billy has gotten a lot of boxers from around the area, some Brockton, some from Boston, uh, names that go back to, you know, in the history of boxing. And he's got a lot of them to agree to come down Friday night for a boxing event. We're going to start it around 3 o'clock in the afternoon at the library. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep the library open. It's going to be just me and a security guard, but we'll be in there. And uh, we're going to have the event go into the evening until about 8 o'clock at night. And then it's going to all shift over to Joe Angelo's Cafe. What better place to do boxing than in Brockton? You think of you know, Rocky yeah. Marciano, right. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Uh, Robbie Sims. Robbie Sims. Will okay, be who's still local. Yep. Okay, Robbie comes to pay us a visit on a regular basis. He rings the bell and we have a nice conversation. He's a um, good guy. I, I met and know Marvelous Marvin Hagler. He was a trustee at Massasoit. Was he, he went to Massasoit. This past year he had someone graduate there. He showed up at nice. Massasoit graduation all the way from Italy because he's an Italian soap opera star. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, and he likes to come back to Brockton. Okay, so there's a all sorts of downtown Brockton activities that are going on, and I'm going to have him back to probably highlight those, but I'm glad our library is a part of that. Yeah, and, and, and we're doing something new. We're, we're actually using the library when we're not open for events, which we're, so we're drawing more people into the library on other nights. It's something I picked up from from the New York Public Library System. They, they do programming like this all the time. And well, you're in the spirit of a previous director, Harry Williams, who used to mm -hmm. take other time and be there at the library to keep it open. We're trying to figure that out. Yeah. But we're, the good news is we're now open Monday night till 9, Tuesday night till 9, and we're open Wednesday night yep. till 9. We weren't open Wednesday night. I know. We were closed from 5 to 9. Mm -hmm. So this is good. And the branch hours have doubled. Branch, we did the, doubled. the big picnic, mm -hmm. got everybody down, had to go back out and get more hamburgers <laughs> and hot dogs, okay? And there was ice cream and 
The weather yeah. held out. It was a good day. So we've publicized those hours, but we just want to remind the mm -hmm. public. Absolutely. Um, I talked history before. Yep. Dr. Gary Highlander is going to be back at Brockton Public Library. He's a professor at Stonehill, and he's going to talk about what this time? Lincoln's America. Lincoln's America. You can yeah. learn a lot from Lincoln. Yes. Um, let's, uh, you know, maybe it'll distract us from everything that's going on now. <laughs> let's go back to Lincoln. Lincoln in his day was either well-loved or well-hated. Yeah, well, obviously, Okay. Yeah. And the person that can put that all together with... Um, a lot of knowledge, and he makes it lively. He makes yeah. history come alive, Dr. Gary Highlander. Like he is not a stuffy history no. professor, and he's not stuck up. No. I love going to his stuff, so I'll probably be there. Probably, I'll what was either, the date on that? Maybe? Uh, the 6th of the October, 6th of October okay. which it's is a Saturday. A Saturday. It's 2 to 4 p.m. So probably get me, be, and I think it's part of a series. I think he's doing a, a yeah. multiple one. Yep. He's done stuff on... Kennedy Frederick, on Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass, so he's always he's always good. And then the big hot topic these days is STEM mm -hmm. and st even STEAM yep. to throw the arts in there. And there's a whole bunch of stuff going on at the library. Tell us about. Well, it. there's a Governor's STEM Week, which is mm -hmm. the I believe it's the 26th through that week uh, mm -hmm. in October. And Pat Monteith is, is running a bunch of um, STEM programming that week and kind of tying it into our maker space. Uh, we're having events where we're actually doing STEM activities with kids. Uh, then we're also having a, a career fair. We have, um, so we have organizations that are coming into, into our Lingos Auditorium and we'll have it set up so that students can walk around and, and, and interact with some, some potential employers. And we're hoping that we can get the governor to come down. We're really working on that, or somebody from the governor's office to be to, to join us for that. Well, it is an election year, so <laughs> you never know. He was just here. Uh, yeah. He broke ground for the parking garage. Um, you know, one thing I can definitely say about Governor Baker, having had the experience over at Southeastern, he likes vocational ed, and vocational ed has a lot to do with STEM. Yes. Okay, it's hands-on. Mm -hmm. The maker space is hands-on. So I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, the, the mayor is very supportive of the governor. The mayor's on the governor's OPA task force. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling he might be able to get him to come down here. Yeah. And that would be good. Um, of course, he has 350 other communities yes, in Massachusetts to visit to. But we're one of the largest cities in Massachusetts, so it would actually make total sense for him to come. So yeah. let, keep us posted, let us know, and yeah. we'll be there with a the camera. Yeah, and we're kicking off our, our, our LSTA library, um, um, library something and Technology Act uh, that week for uh, the kids, uh, uh, grades uh, one through five, uh, Brockton Kids Can Code. We're teaching, uh, we're going to have a maker space in the, in the children's area where kids will learn how to code using um, uh, open source Apple software on iPads. Well, you're gonna you're gonna have to do the senior citizen one for me. I'm getting there. I couldn't code if my I'm lucky I can program my remote for Comcast, but we'll revisit that another time. Fair enough. Paul, thank you for keeping us informed and we'll have you and different staff members back. All right, thanks, Mark. Thank you. Um, just remember Brockton Public Library five oh eight five eight oh seven eight nine oh www.brockdenpubliclibrary.org. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.